<laughs> oh, man. Because chock full of nuts remains yes. the heavenly coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though they got some ugly looking coffee cans. <laughs> Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yahweh. All right, Yeshayahu 42.4. Hallelujah. Oh, we already did that. Tov, 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 tov. Like Abraham, we are called to follow Mashiach's Torah, and we are commanded to look to the Tzur. Be steadfast and uncompromising in your Israelite lifestyle. Now go with me. I want to see how, how we many of us start out. Bereshit. Hey. Shh. <laughs> he preaching already. Bereshit 21 10. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. But the fear of Rabbi Moshe is the beginning of a peaceful grandchild. <laughs> Bereshit 21 10. Bereshit 21 10. Amen. Sarah gives counseling to her husband. She sees the mocking spirit of Hagar, Hagar, mm -hmm. the bondwoman who was a lesser wife mm -hmm. to Abraham, not a Pelegesh, but a lesser wife, and her son. She said to Abraham, cast out, look at verse 10, Bereshit 21.10, cast out this slave woman and her son and for her the son. son of this slave woman shall not be heir with my Yitzchak Rebus and Rebus, take him on the porch take him on the porch let him play around or in the yard are you with me? Mm -hmm. yep. cast out the bond woman for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir. Verse 11. This thing was severe in Abraham's sight. It didn't make him happy. It bothered him. It hurt him. And Elohim had said to Abraham, let it not be severe because of the bondwoman. All that Sarah says, listen to her. Because the son of the slave, I will make a nation because it is your Zerah. But in Yitzchak shall your what? Zerah be called. Listen. What does Yitzchak mean? What does Yitzchak mean? Laughter. That's right. Why was Yitzchak called laughter? Because when Sarah found out she was going to have a baby at the advanced age of 90, she laughed. And Yahweh said, I heard you laughing at me. Yahweh doesn't like to be laughed at. No. Nope. So I heard you laughing at me. Sarah said, I, 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 I didn't laugh. She said, you lying, mama. You did laugh. But nevertheless, I love you. And you will have a child called laughter. Yitzchak. So after an initial understanding that Israel comes through joy and laughter, we receive the message of Israel through laughter, then comes a long journey of obedience. And part of that journey of obedience after the joy and the laughter of realizing you are an Israelite through the blood of Yeshua, Galatians 3.29, now comes the hard part. Wilbur, say to yourself, don't turn to anybody. There's nobody here anyway. Mm. Now comes the hard part. Now comes now the, hard the, part. the beginning. Ah, I'm Israel. Praise. Me. Oh, ah, let's eat. Let's drink. Let's rejoice. I'm Israel. <laughs> so there's an initial. Yahweh gives you an initial grace period when you become Israel, where you have what? Tzachak. Yitzchak. Yitzchak. Are you with me, Daryl? It's just too too difficult. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong with me? But then comes the hard part. Part B of the walk. To look to Abraham, the rock from which we were toured, and to Sarah, the mother who bore us, and to the pit from which we were hewn and dug. And that is to cast out the sons of the bondwoman and drive them far from our dwellings. In other words, anyone who mocks your Israelite heritage, your Israelite halacha, here's how you win them to your position. Ready? Cast them out and have Actual nothing to stuff. do with them. Mm -hmm. And this is very grievous, what Rabbi Moshe is telling me. The Christmas people, mm -hmm. the Easter people, mm -hmm. the Easter bunnies, the jelly bean hunts, the Easter egg hunts, mm -hmm. cast out the sons of religion from your midst. 
Because there's no way you can keep Yahweh's charge if you don't listen to the voice of Sarah. Who was the one that told Sarah to drive out Hagar? Mm. Was she mean-spirited? Was she unloving? No. Yahweh says she's right. Mm -hmm. So how do you win your Christian family to the Israelite, to the Nazarene Israelite lifestyle? You don't. It's impossible. But guess what? What is impossible with man is possible with Yahweh. You follow me, Chris? Mm -hmm. When you give up, he takes over. Mm -hmm. But until he takes over, you cannot, you must cast out mm -hmm. the bond woman because the bond woman and her behavior and her children shall not be heir with you and your children as Israel. <clears throat> now, this may sound mean and harsh, but guess what? Look at Yahweh's commentary. You see Yahweh's commentary? Verse 12. Bereshit 21, 12. Elohim said, hey, Abe, don't be, don't be heartbroken. Don't, don't, let this not be severe. Because everything Sarah has said is correct. Listen to her voice. In Yitzchak shall your Zerah be called. If you leave that child, Ishmael, in this house, he's going to turn the chosen seed into a Muslim. Mm. He's going to turn the chosen seed into a wild dunk, a wild man. Of Esau, Ishmael's son, it was said, his hand was against every man, and every man's hand was against him. Is that the way you want to live for the Prince of Peace? Fighting and being in struggle every day of your life? Or do you want to have the peace of Yahweh that passes all understanding? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Chris, if you fall asleep on me, I'm going to put you on a chair. Don't fall asleep on me, bro. I'm keeping an eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear a good old man? Oh, I mean, it, it sounds like terrible. Yahweh says, cast it out. In other words, did I say don't love your family who goes to church? Did you hear me say that? That's not what I said. What I said was, if it's that important for them to have a good family, then you go to them on December 27th. You visit them on December 22nd. You choose the day. You are the head and not the tail. Why do you have to submit to December 25th and Halloween? Why? That's not how you keep Yahweh's charge. Amen. Amen. And if Yahweh were to come to you and say, Wilbur, here's the plan for you to win other Nazarene Israelites and to live a, a pleasing lifestyle to me. Everyone in your family who doesn't obey Torah, cast them out. Change your number and, and change your address. Are you willing to do that? Some may be. Some may not. And this is where the rubber meets the road. If Yahweh tells me to break off every relationship in the world, including my wife, Yahweh forbid, if she were a stumbling block, which she's not, which she's not, but if she was, I would, be, I would give everything to obey Yahweh. Amen. And so would she, if I was a stumbling block. This is the kind of sold out radicalism that Yahweh is looking for. Yes, yes. But we can only do that, Cecile, if we have our eyes where? Back to Abraham and Sarah. Because they were visionaries. They didn't walk by sight, but by Emunah. Anybody that walks by sight cannot live as Israel. Well, my life, why my wife won't let me come to Shabbat? Listen, let me tell you something. It's a good thing you're not in my office. Or my husband won't let me come up to Shabbat. I have a few things to say to you, but I will say it in private. Mm. Yahweh, Rabbi Moshe, I know that Yahweh put me in your synagogue, but my husband won't let me, my wife and my husband won't let me come to your synagogue anymore. But I know Yahweh put me there. So you ask yourself, do you love the praises of men or do you love the praises of Yahweh? Which do you love more? Rebuilding a nation. Mm. We're not just getting saved, praise God, gold, fold, and road. <laughs> With his brother Toad. <laughs> We're not just building whosoever, whosoever, evangelism. We're going soul winning. Oh. No, we are not just going soul winning. 
we are going to rescue and rebuild Israel. And if we're going to rescue and rebuild Israel, we must walk as visionaries, not knowing where we're going or how we're going to get there, but knowing the call is difficult. And